Top Secret Why China's Deep Sea Energy Breakthrough is Astonishing the World. Why is deep sea energy development astounding the world? How has China managed to break through restricted zones? Hey everyone! Today, I'm going to reveal an incredibly shocking secret. Beneath the turbulent and treacherous waters of the South China Sea, at a depth of 1,500 meters in a pitch black abyss, a technological revolution is quietly unfolding, one that's sure to go down in energy history. This area was once heavily red flagged by international energy giants as an exploration exclusion zone. The temperature in these hydrothermal vents is as scorching as a volcano, consistently maintaining 138 degrees Celsius, and the geological pressure reaches 69 megapascals, equivalent to 690 kilograms of pressure per square centimeter. Such an extreme environment makes the technical difficulty comparable to landing on Mars. But did you know? As early as the 1990s, China's oceanographic research vessel Daonghihao, Ocean No. 1, had already sailed here. From the hydrothermal samples brought back from the deep sea, researchers for the first time discovered sulfides rich in metal elements. This glimmer of hope kept countless Chinese energy professionals awake at night. They vowed, the tough nuts others dare not crack, we will chew them with a resounding crunch. Thus, a deep-sea commando team, composed of key scientific research personnel born in the 80s and 90s, came into being. They set up base in the South China Sea, staying at sea for hundreds of days, overcoming numerous difficulties like typhoons, seasickness, and equipment malfunctions. Remember the breakthrough experiment in 2022? Engineers successfully installed a new type of ocean thermal energy conversion, OTC, device on the seabed. After 72 hours of continuous monitoring, it finally converted the temperature difference between 138 degrees Celsius hot seawater and 2 degrees Celsius cold seawater into a stable electric current. At that moment, the entire offshore platform erupted in cheers. This was not just a data breakthrough, but a historic leap for China in the field of deep sea energy, moving from follower to leader. Next, let's put on our virtual deep sea helmets cross a thousand meters of seawater, and see how these great national instruments illuminate the dark deep sea with energy light and how they are reshaping the global energy game. China's Deep Sea Number 1, a monumental achievement. Let's start with China's Deep Sea Number 1, a truly remarkable engineering feat from its inception. The research team embarked on a 10-year journey of intensive development. Over these 3,600 plus days and nights, they overcame over 200 key technical challenges, pouring 30,000 tons of special steel to cast this offshore behemoth. This steel dragon, standing in the Lingxue 17-2 gas field in the South China Sea, has not only created China's first and largest deep-water high-pressure gas field but has also redefined the paradigm of deep-sea energy development with its globally pioneering four-star alignment development model. Through the collaborative operation of an intelligent gas field, a subsea production system, a floating production storage and offloading, FPSO, unit, and an external pipeline network, it has built a full-chain deep-sea energy ecosystem. The construction difficulty of this energy fortress is a world-class challenge. It is rooted 1,500 meters deep in the seabed, directly facing a seawater pressure of 150 kilograms per square centimeter and the formation temperature is as high as 150 degrees Celsius. Operating in such an extreme three-high environment, high temperature, high pressure, high hydrogen sulfide content, every pipe weld and every piece of equipment installed is like performing a precise heart bypass surgery on the seabed. Through the development of corrosion-resistant special steels, the deployment of intelligent inspection robots, and the establishment of real-time dynamic monitoring systems, researchers finally made this deep-sea energy treasure trove a reality. Today, it can supply over 3 billion cubic meters of natural gas annually to the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area, equivalent to lighting warm lights for tens of millions of families. A global comparison, China's leapfrogging strategy. Looking back at history, European and American countries anchored their course in deep-sea energy development decades earlier than China. Since the 1960s, 
The United States has transformed the Gulf of Mexico into a testing ground for deep-sea energy development, relying on energy giants like ExxonMobil to gradually build a complete technical system covering deep-sea drilling, subsea production systems, and submarine pipeline laying. Their fifth-generation ultra-deep water drilling rig, the Discoverer Enterprise, with its extreme operating depth of 12,000 meters and modular intelligent control system, long held the industry's technological high ground. In stark contrast, China's deep-sea energy development began with the Blue National Territory strategic layout in the early 21st century. Facing Western technological blockade, the deep-sea number one energy station adopted independent innovation plus system integration as its breakthrough, pioneering semi-submersible platform column oil storage technology and overcoming the bottleneck problem of deep-water high-pressure gas field development. The second phase of the project achieved a leapfrog breakthrough, 23 dragon well-style subsea production trees are distributed in a matrix, pushing the daily natural gas output to 15 million cubic meters through the world's first subsea production system plus semi-submersible platform plus external pipeline integrated model. When visualized, this data is equivalent to extracting three water cubes, 340,000 cubic meters each, from a thousand meter seabed every day with an annual output of 4.5 billion cubic meters of clean energy, enough to support the daily cooking needs of 100 million families for three consecutive years. Its production scale surpasses the total of several major gas fields in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico, marking a prominent Chinese coordinate in the global deep-sea energy landscape. China's Unique Innovations and Global Leadership Looking at Europe, some European countries are more inclined towards cooperative development in deep-sea energy. For example, Norway and the UK have collaborated on development in the North Sea region, integrating their technologies and resources. However, they also face numerous issues in the cooperation process, such as uneven profit distribution and difficulties in policy coordination. In the Deep Sea No. 1 project, China relied entirely on its own strength, forming a complete system from exploration to development and production operations. This independent development model has not only allowed us to master core technologies but also avoided many problems that can arise in international cooperation. China's unique deep-sea kite production system has amazed the world. This system allows gas extraction trees at 1,500 meters to operate autonomously like a space station, unaffected even by typhoons. The world's first 100,000-ton deepwater semi-submersible platform can withstand a Category 16 typhoon and stay at sea for 30 years without docking. The world's deepest 1,500-meter subsea wellhead system has a precision reaching 1 20th of a human hair. Each of these technological achievements, when taken individually, represents a global top level. American experts, after reviewing the design blueprints, couldn't help but exclaim, this is like building a space station on the seabed. Compared to European and American countries, while they have made many breakthroughs in deep-sea technology, China's innovative technologies have in some aspects surpassed theirs. The United States might prioritize stability in deep-sea platform construction, but in dealing with complex sea conditions and efficient energy collection, China's deep-sea kite production system demonstrates unique advantages. Europe, while having high levels of precision control in subsea wellheads, still lags slightly behind China's 1,500-meter high-precision wellhead system, reshaping the global energy landscape. From the perspective of energy supply, China, through a series of deep-sea energy development projects like Deep Sea No. 1, is rapidly reshaping the energy landscape. In the Kyong Dongnan Basin, this global first 100,000-ton deepwater semi-submersible production and storage platform stands like a deep-sea giant. Its intelligent control system can precisely capture natural gas resources a thousand meters below the seabed, and its innovative application of integrated subsea production systems and floating platforms has broken through long-standing foreign technological blockades. These blue flames from the deep sea can replace 5.4 million tons of coal annually and reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 12 million tons, equivalent to planting 120 million trees. This is not just cold numbers, but a vivid testament to China's commitment to its dual carbon goals.
Looking back at the history of energy development, China's deep sea energy strategy is a prime example of overtaking on a curve. The Jelong Submersible Project, launched in 2013, laid the technical foundation for deep sea oil and gas development. The commissioning of deep sea number no. one phase one in 2021 achieved a leap from follower to leader. This leapfrog development has created ripples across the global energy landscape. In contrast, European and American countries, despite their head start, are deeply mired in transformation due to historical path dependence. The U.S. shale revolution briefly reshaped the energy landscape, but constrained by interest group lobbying and policy swings, the clean energy standard has been repeatedly shelved, and coal-fired power plant shutdowns are 30% behind target. Although Europe has taken the lead in renewable energy with North Sea wind power, the Russia-Ukraine conflict exposed the fragility of its energy supply system, with Germany restarting coal power projects in 2022, reflecting the difficulty of replacing traditional energy. In comparison, China's deep-sea energy development not only ensures its own energy security but also provides a Chinese solution for global climate governance with an average annual clean energy growth rate of 15%. China's Hardcore Romance from Bohai Bay to the South China Sea, China is building an invisible energy great wall from the deep sea. While others are still vying for surface resources, we have extended our national lifeline to the deep black land 1,500 meters below. This is the Chinese-style hardcore romance, a romance of being down-to-earth yet daring to challenge limits. Sinook, China National Offshore Oil Corporation, has played a crucial role in this journey of deep-sea energy development, and their efforts and innovation deserve praise from all of us. Today's deep-sea energy exploration journey is coming to an end, but Chinese scientists' quest to explore the deep blue will never stop. From setting a world record in trial mining of combustible ice in the South China Sea to the deep-sea space station breaking the 10,000-meter pressure limit, behind every achievement is the research team's decade-long dedication. If you are amazed by these deep-sea miracles, please give us a like and let this technological power from the seabed inspire more people. Click the share button to pass on China's hardcore achievements in deep-sea energy development to your friends and family, and let the world hear the strong technological voice from the East.